Hello, fellow teachers of young learners. Are you tired of the same old grammar lessons that seem to put your students to sleep? Well, fear not. Today, we're going to show you how technology can inject some much needed fun and excitement into your grammar lessons. Today, we'll be focusing specifically on teaching the present perfect tense to your students, and we've got a whole range of activities that will help your students not only master the form, but also understand the function and usage of this tense in context. This lesson starts with an icebreaker game called Two Truths and a Lie. In this game, learners can form small groups of three and write three sentences starting with I have never. Then discuss with each other to discover the one sentence that is not true about their classmates. Similar ideas about activities of this type can be found on the ESL Conversations Questions website. As Professor Gray explained, when teaching grammar, it's important to cover both form and function. Therefore, the teacher can move on to providing an explanation of the present perfect form, followed by an automatically graded exercise to allow some guided practice. The quiz on the English Club website uses simple sentences with basic forms of the tense where the learners can get automatic feedback about the accuracy of their choices. There are numerous activities of this type online that can offer a stress-free and safe environment for practice with automated feedback. We are all aware that practicing the grammatical form can sometimes seem like a daunting experience for the young learners. That's where technology can bring a fresh, fun, and engaging change. There are several games that can be used for individual and group practice. Our first game, found on the Games to Learn English website, allows learners to practice the past participle forms and create sentences using the present perfect. This game is especially useful for young learners because they don't need to type the words, they simply drag and drop or connect them. This can help them build confidence and focus on learning the form. There are also games that can be played in pairs, online or in person. Professor Sonset Hegelheimer and I will show you an example of how this game can be played online via Zoom. In the first game, the airplane game, the learners need to guess whether the tense used is present, past, or future perfect in order to win the game. In the second game, the learners need to fill in the blanks by selecting the correct form of the tense. Since this game needs more focus, one of the learners can click on the answers while the other one reads and gives them instructions. <laughs> 